What is up, my adventure crew? Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Real Adventures Hawaii. First time here, welcome aboard. If you're coming back, welcome back aboard. We're at the Honolulu International Airport. Today, we're making our way back to the Big Island. We'll have to go pay the engine guys a visit. They're pretty much done with everything. Gotta check it out. Go to Force Marine, talk to them a little while. And then head back home on the same day. Right now, it's 8.20 in the morning. I thought it leaves at 9.20, so see you on the plane thumbs up for good luck and here we go boys and girls so up here at honda pretty much finished paying these guys off for the motors at the pay a little extra some extra stuff came on that we need to do so it's perfect we're good to go now did an excellent job kelly the guy that's doing the engines excellent job wiring the boat came out super nice everything's super clean the way it should be when you get a new boat um but uh we're waiting for a couple extra parts because of covid stuff is still delayed that's what's taking so long the bolt's pretty much done. We're waiting for a couple of the, I guess, the electrical boxes that show you your tack, your your fuel mileage, all that stuff. We're waiting for those to still come in. They're back ordered. Hopefully, you're here next week. And a couple other small things. But those are the two main things we're waiting for. And a uh, control cable stopper. So that I forget what it is. But we're waiting for that also. Everything's backed up right now. COVID is really jamming this boat up. This boat was supposed to be done this past summer. This boat was actually supposed to be done in like July, I believe. So, you know, it's been a journey. If you've been with me from the beginning, you know we've been waiting for a while for this. If you don't know, this is a 27 Force. Uh, it's made by Force Marine on the Big Island. Custom color, custom order bolt. This boat was ordered three years ago. They actually went to the mode October of last year. So, looking good. Got the flyer bridge. When I go back home, my trailer's back at home. And then uh, the only thing that's uh, going to be left to do on this boat when I get back home is the stainless steel work. Uh, my friend is actually going to do all the stainless steel work with the ladder and everything and my rocket launcher and stuff. So that's going to be the last thing to go on this boat when I get home. i would be by another couple weeks. And after that, we'd be fishing. We'd be fishing. But twin Honda 150s, all mounted, ready to go. They just have to clean up a little bit. Like I said, they're not completely done yet. We got our... Uh, let me show you inside, let me show you inside. That's our guy right there, that's the legend right there. <laughs> a lot of focus, Kelly, hold on, there we go, there we there. go. That's our mechanic, that's the main guy right there. We're fixing it. Yeah, so 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 say thumbs up, uh, say thanks Kelly in the comments, because he's the one hooking us up. So make sure you thank him down below in the comments. He's the one that's gonna get us on the water and get us home safe every time. This guy right, right here. So with Hondas, you can't, a lot of motors you can't do dual boxes. Some we can, but we don't have dual boxes on this. We have the old school Morris boxes. Those are the best, most reliable. Tyler has the same kind of boxes on his boat. It makes it a lot easier, especially for light beating and everything else. It's easier just to bump one, put in forward gear for it all. So that was the game plan. Uh, and then right below that, you see a black box. That's our, uh, our tilt switches. They're steering in. And then like I said, if you see that puka right there, that's what we're waiting to come in. Hasn't come in yet. We're waiting for two of those. Our kill switches. Uh, we have our, our 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 tilt levers, and then you see the puka again. That's our our switch. We're still waiting for that. So it's pretty much all in. Pretty much everything's done. We're just waiting for a couple more things, and we'll be ready to go. And a couple of you guys asked what kind of pull holders it is. It's LT Marine, it's beefy beefy pull holders. Super pole holders, I got 10 of them. So there's, you can never go wrong with too much pole holders. I got 10 pole holders all the way around the boat. Uh, so overall, pretty good. Pretty good overall. We'll be on the water very, very shortly. Very shortly. So one, one other thing too, and the reason why, once the boat leaves here, it should be the next week sometime, once it leaves here, it goes back to force the boat builder. And from my understanding, I guess they, they do a walkthrough. They polish everything up, they silicone, whatever has to be silicone. There's small scuff marks like you can see here, some stuff on the side, and all that stuff is gonna polish out. So there's scratches on the boat now. I'm sure there'll be a lot more scratches before the next year is done. But there's scratches right now, and they polish all out. They wanna give you they want to give you a perfect product when it's done. And that's why, to me, not knocking on the other boat builders, but to me, 
you want a quality product, you go to Forest. Forest, they built some of the best bolts. They've been around for the longest building bolts, more longer than I think any other bolt manufacturer in the state. They've been building bolts for years. And that's why the wait list for a Forest right now, if you want a Forest, it's a two to three year wait. It's such a good product, it's that long for a wait. Yeah, so the scuffs, all buffed out. Super good view, just have like that. The height is perfect, the seats is perfect height. I actually raised it an inch taller than Tyler's one, just have a little more view, which is I think works out perfect. My friend will be doing the building top, my friend Alvin will be doing the building top for me. I don't know if we'll do a wrap on, we'll see. And then right there will be either Roy Boy's seat or Kayak Kevin's seat. Somebody's seat, we have another seat right here for somebody else. And uh, perfect, you can see the whole back deck. Big working space. Lots of room. Summertime iron, it's gonna be going off. It's gonna be ballistic. A lot of mice, man. I thank my wife for that. So thank you to my wife, Alicia, if you're watching this. Thank you for letting me spend all your money. <laughs> thank you for letting me spend all your money. It's not my money, it's her money. Everybody that's married knows that. Whenever you're married, it's not your money, it's your wife's money. So thank you for letting me spend your money. Sick. Still don't have a name yet. <laughs> we still don't have a name. Thought I had a name, changed my mind. We don't have a name yet. All right, so we made it back home. It's been a long day. It's 6.30 at, it's dark already outside. But uh, I guess there's an update on the boat. Short video. Thanks for watching. If you can, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe. As always, tight line, stay fishing. I'll see you on the water or under the water. It's always a good thing when your truck is still at the airport. <laughs> All right, guys. And girls. And girls. Time to go home. Gotta see my kids before they go to bed. Oh, oh AC feels so good. So good. Whew.